Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Imponte Beaters Dukes. So this, I mean, at this present point, I really don't know what was going on in Rockstar's mind. I think they went like, okay, there's a new DLC coming. We'll add an old car. We'll actually, you know, thrash it a bit, you know, ruin it at the front and sides and backs. And we'll release it in the DLC and make the players pay to, you know, repair that thing. Like seriously, Rockstar? I really don't know what their intention was with this thing. Maybe a few players requested for a, you know, completely like a thrashed or a broken down vehicle. I honestly don't know. But this was not something we actually expected from this uh, new DLC. So it's kind of a, you know, surprising thing I can say. Because, you know, we didn't expect such a thing. But for? nonetheless, this is the car. And this is actually based off the 69 Charger in real life. So... As you can see from the photo, you can see the resemblance. I don't think I'll be doing any sort of real life ones, but I'll be doing a somewhat of a decent looking customizations for this build. There are a few options, so let's go check them out. For the first ones, we have the front bumpers and as you can see, we have the damage options. We also have the repaired options. So just like I said earlier, they gave us a damaged one and we have the option to get the repaired parts. That's just Rockstar right there. Huh. Anyways, I think I'll be going with the custom splitter here. Next, for the engine upgrades, um, we'll get the level 4, just for the sake of it. Next, we have the exhaust. We have the side mounted exhaust. Pretty good. Oh, side exit quad exhaust. Nice. We also have the dual ones. And then we have the usual tail exhaust. Quite a few good options there. But instead of, you know, getting the usual rear end kind of exhaust, I think I'll go with the side exhaust for this build. Let's kind of, you know, change it up a little. So side exit dual quad four pipes would seem a little too much. So instead I'll go with the dual exhaust for this build. Yeah, that would look, you know, good as well as decent one. So I'll go with that. Next we have the fenders. We have the option to repair the fender. Great. We also have the fender flares. No way. You know, cause look at the gap between the front wheel and the fenders. That in itself, there's a lot of gap. So on top of that, getting fender flares, that would look ridiculous. I don't want to do that. We have the repaired fenders so i'll be getting that instead of the damaged one next we have the grills there's like four options of them these kind of you know highlight the grills um i'm personally not a fan of any of these blacked out one kind of hides away everything the dash grill this is kind of okay it kind of looks decent the bullet grill is also good. I kind of like the bullet grill, but I'll just leave it to stock for this. Next, we have the hoods. We have the, once again, we have a few of these damaged parts as upgrade options. We also have the repaired ones. Repaired, this is the stock hood. Damaged insert hood. Okay. Performance hood, insert hood. The bug catchers. Oh, Technology twin turbo hood. Huh. I'll go with the repaired stock hood for this. They the other them. options like the snorkel or the performance. Yeah, the performance hood is also good. So I think I'll just go with the performance hood. Not a bad job. Next, we have the libraries. Oh my God. So majority of them are, you know, rusty kind of libraries. The flames, the rusty flames actually looks good. Yeah, I kind of like that. We have the junkyard. Huh. White stripes, black stripes, flames. Nice. How many cars you got in this garage again? So others are the generic uh, racing kind of ones. Hold on, I think I got an idea. You know, just let me get them changed completely. I want to, you know, try it out. So for that, I think I'll be going with the damaged street splitter. Black one, no. I think I'll go with the 
primary body painted one then for the side fenders i think i'll go back to the damaged ones and then the front grill um uh, yeah this i think i'll go with this one the billet grill next we have the hoods i think i'll go with the damaged yeah the damaged ones but for that these are kind of you know repaired ones so i don't want this one i think i'll go with the damaged insert hood yeah that is a lot of opening and you know a lot of damages on that next going to the libraries i think i'll get the the rusty flames one this kind of looks cool on this so i'll be getting that the other options too are pretty good but um in front of the rusty flames i don't think any of them scores good the stripes with flames actually does look good so but still i'll be sticking to the rusty flames next we have the lowers we have the sprint ones dash race one and also the sport ones i think i'll just go with the sprint ones yeah then the mirrors there are few options okay so these are all chrome mirrors i don't want to get anything chrome i just stick to the stock one which is kind of you know rusty one then we have the plates as usual the custom plates even the plate is kind of you know damaged a little huh And then we have the respray options, secondary paint. What does it change? Okay, so those tiny ascents, the door handle, and also certain parts of the engine under the hood. Uh, it doesn't matter much, so I'll just leave it to black. Then we have the roll cages. Okay, so this also changes the seats. The standard stock one is kind of you know torn at certain places and also damaged, so these kind of you know improve that and also adds a roll case there huh. should i upgrade it i think i'll go with the roll cage and the chassis upgrade it kind of adds a nos bottle in the middle so for that sake i'll get that then we have the roofs yep i want to get the body painted uh, roof Making decisions is and we also have all these uh, country flags so that's cool if you want to get that done but i won't be going with that I'll just stick to the painted roof for this just to get more of that uh, rust and then we also have the spoilers we have so these are kind of generic i mean particular to this car we have already had them earlier so i'll just go with the also these are carbon ones i don't want those blacked out ones i want it in the body colored so there we go suspension i don't want to lower it even more next we have the wheelie bar repaired rear bumper no way i don't want that we also have the wheelie bars i don't want those as well windows we can black out but would it actually suit the car no i'll just leave it to that next we have the wheels i'll just check out the street wheels there because there are you know new wheels added to that the one drawback is that these are kind of you know thin wheels they should be wider the hot ring steely kind of looks good uh, these don't go well so i think i'll just go with the hot ring steely yeah this looks good let's go paint them up black i mean black as usual looks good always white i don't think will go well uh, for this one orange no yellow yep i think i'll go with this uh, race yellow it kind of suits to the flames as well so pretty good right there tire design you can get the tire designs but i think i'll go with the atomic logo white ones so yeah i'll go with that next going to the main one there is a respray primary paint and i think you know black looks good it makes the rust you know stand out if you are going to be getting any of these rust libraries make sure you paint the body color in matte finish and also dark color kind of you know highlights the rust so i think i'll go with the black yeah there you go nice the flames and the rust kind of you know highlight for the hood i can actually get the other alternatives but do you think they suit the car 
I the hood actually is a you know repaired one here. It's not the damaged one. So I think I'll just leave it to that. All right, let's take it out and drive it a bit. And here we are outside. I mean, for the car in itself, I don't think there's much to say because it's based off an already existing car in the game. So I don't have much to say on this car. The flames are looking good behind the front wheels. Interiors as usual basic, just like the earlier one. And this car too wheelies, but it kind of struggles because the rear end is way too far stretched to the back. So wheelies are not the best of this car. Huh. Performance is okay. Not that great or anything. I mean, it's just, you know, based off the already existing one. So I didn't bother much with the performance upgrades and all. Uh, we all pretty much know how it drives and handles and everything. So just the upgrades and customizations is the center of attraction here for this thing. Although the library with the flame and the rust combined kind of, you know, looks good for a, you know, completely thrashed, beaten muzzle car. So if any of you wanted to, you know, replicate that from any of the real life ones to the GTA Online, well, with this car, you guys can do that. So there you have it. That is the Imponte Beater Dukes. This thing is priced at almost $400,000. So I really don't know, man. $400,000. Do you guys think it's worth it? I honestly don't know. And I probably also won't be, you know, keeping it in this way. If I decide to keep it, I may sell it off as well. I'm not entirely sure. So let me know what you guys think about this. Did you guys like this uh, beaten out, thrashed, old school muzzle car? Or will you guys be doing a completely different type of customization? Let me know down in the comments all your thoughts and opinions regarding this car. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you all and have a good day.